Hi guys, in this video I would be showing you how to install macOS Big Sur 11.5.2 on VMware on Windows 10 on both AMD Ryzen and Intel PCs. So do watch this video till the end to have a working macOS Big Sur virtual machine. So the following are the prerequisites. First, you need to have virtualization enabled in the BIOS of your motherboard. If you don't know how to enable virtualization, do a Google search about how to enable virtualization in the BIOS of your particular motherboard. Second, you need to go ahead and download macOS Big Sur 11.5.2 package which contains all the required files to have macOS Big Sur 11.5.2 up and running on VMware. You can download the package by clicking on the single link download link in the description below or you can download the package in parts by downloading all the 14 RAR part files and then you can go ahead and extract the package from it. If you don't know how to extract things from RAR path files, you can watch the video by clicking on the card that would be appearing right now on the top right corner. Once you have managed to download the macOS Bixer package, go ahead and move it to the desktop. After that, extract the package this way using either WinRAR or 7-Zip. Once done, open macOS Bixer package. Go ahead and install VMware Player 16.1.2, installation file of which I've included in the package. Once the VMware Player has been installed, extract unlocker303.zip file. Open unlocker303 folder. Right click on win-install.cmd file and run it as administrator. Click on yes. This would unlock the option to install macOS on VMware. Now go ahead and open VMware Player. Click on create a new virtual machine. Select I will install the operating system later. Click on next. Select Apple Mac OS X and from the drop down menu Mac OS 11.1. .1. Click on next. If you want, you can change the name to macOS 11.5.2. Click on next. Select store virtual disk as a single file. Change the maximum disk size to at least 160 GB or more depending on the free space of your hard disk drive or solid state drive or as per your requirement. Don't worry, even if you allot 160 GB, the 160 GB space won't get preoccupied. Click on next. Click on customize hardware. For Big Sur, I would recommend you to allot 4GB RAM to the virtual machine. But if you have a low spec PC, try 2GB and see if it's sufficient. Select processor. And depending on how many cores your processor has, allot either 2 or 4 cores. I have an 8 core AMD Ryzen processor in my PC, so I would allot 4 cores. Check virtualize Intel VTX, EBT or AMD V. Now go to new CD DVD SATA. Select use ISO image file. Click on browse. Select desktop macOS Big Sur 11.5.2 package. Select macOS Big Sur 11.5.2.iso file and click on open. Now go to USB controller, select USB 2.0 from the drop down menu and check show all USB input devices. Click on close, click on finish, close the VMware player. Now go to the documents folder, virtual machines folder, macOS 11.5.2 folder, Right click on macOS 11.5.2.vmx file and open it with notepad. Click on minimize. Now go to the macOS Big Sur package folder and open the vmx code text file based on the processor you have in your PC. If you have an AMD Ryzen or FX series processor in your PC, open the vmx code for AMD text file. 
If you have an Intel Core branded processor which was launched in or after 2013, open the VMX code for Intel text file. If you have a Core branded processor in your PC which was launched prior to 2013 and if you face any AVX instruction set related issue, use the code for AMD PCs. As I have an AMD Ryzen processor in my PC, I would open the VMX code for AMD text file. Select the entire code, right click copy. Now go to the actual VMX file. Scroll down to the bottom, right click paste. Go to the file menu, click on save. Now you can go ahead and close the .vmx file. You can close this file as well. Open VMware Player. Select Mac OS 11.5.2 and click on Play Virtual Machine. Click on Next. Select Disk Utility and click on Continue. Select VMware Virtual SATA Hard Drive. Click on Erase. If you want, you can change the name to Mac OS HDD. Make sure that the format is selected as APFS. Scheme is selected as GUID Partition Map. Click on Erase. Click on Done. You can close this utility now. Select Install Mac OS Big Sur. Click on Continue. Click on Continue. Agree. Agree. Select Mac OS HDD and click on Continue. This may take a couple of minutes depending on the speed of your solid state drive or hard disk drive. The operating system is being installed. Select your country and click on continue. Continue. Not now. Continue. Not now. Set up later. Skip. Agree. Agree. Now create your user account. Click on continue. Click on customize settings. Click on continue. Click on don't use. Select your time zone and click on continue. I prefer to uncheck this. Click on continue. Set up later. I prefer to uncheck this as well. Click on continue. Choose the theme that you prefer. Click on continue. Yeah. 
macOS Big Sur 11.5.2 has been successfully installed and now to make it run in full screen mode and to improve its responsiveness plus to enable drag and drop support between macOS virtual machine and Windows 10 host operating system we need to install VMware tools so first eject macOS Big Sur ISO file by right clicking on it and clicking on eject Go to player menu, removable devices, CD, DVD, SATA, settings, click on connected, click on browse, select darwin.iso file, click on open, click on ok, now double click on install VMware tools. Continue, install, enter your user account password, install software, click on open security preferences, click on open security preferences once again. Click on the lock icon, enter your user account password once again, click on unlock, click on allow, not now, click on the lock icon once again. Now you can go ahead and close the security and privacy window, click on restart to restart the macOS virtual machine. Now you can run the macOS Big Sur virtual machine in full screen mode. Plus you can drag and drop files between guest macOS and host Windows operating system. Thank you for watching this video guys. My next goal is to make this channel reach 5000 subscribers so please do hit the subscribe button along with the bell icon to get a notification once I upload my next video. Plus do not forget to hit the like button as well and I would really appreciate if you could share this video with your friends. Have a great day. See ya.